Hey calculus friends, um, a student sent me a problem and I thought it'd be a fun time to kind of um, look back at the two rules, some of the rules that you're learning in chapter three, the power rule and then also the quotient rule. So let's take a look at this problem where you're asked to find the derivative of this function. Now at first it looks pretty um, straightforward. You might immediately think that it would be fun to use the quotient rule. And that is a good idea, but let me tell you, in general, if you're dividing by a monomial, a single term, when that occurs, it's a good idea to simplify it first because then you might be able to use an easier rule, in this case, the power rule. And that little technique or strategy is going to be something that you want to remember when you're doing integration um, later also. So when you're dividing by a monomial, this is only true when you're dividing by a monomial, um, well, you can always split a fraction up. It's like uncommon denominator it. Um, but it's only kind of helpful when it, in this case if it's dividing by a single term. So we're going to write this as 9 divided by x plus 2x divided by x minus, instead of square root of x, I'm going to write that as 6x to the 1 half power divided by x. So that's just your first step, just kind of cleaning up the, uh, or just kind of thinking about uncommon denominatoring it, okay? <laughs> All right, so now let's put this in a form that's easy to take the derivative of. So I'll write this as 9x to the negative 1 power. The 2x over 2x, those cancel, so we just have plus 2. And then here, minus 6x to the 1 half over x. Remember, when the bases are the same, you subtract the exponent. So 1 half, this is like understood to be 1. So 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So this is minus 6x to the negative 1 half. Okay, so now we're ready to take the derivative because we can just, this now, we can just apply the power rule to get that. Remember, the derivative with respect to x of some function um, x to the n is equal to n x to the n minus 1. That's the power rule. You bring the power in front and then you reduce it uh, by one degree. So ready to take the derivative here, y prime is going to be equal to n here is negative 1, so that's going to be negative 9 x to the negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2, plus the derivative, remember, of a constant function is 0, so we don't have to worry about that term. And then now when we bring the negative 1 half in front here, it's going to become a plus. Half of 6 is 3 x to the negative 1 half minus 1, which is negative 3 halves. All right, now it's your algebra teacher's fault if you're having trouble, but we'll clean this up and remember that I can write this as 9 over x squared plus 3 over x to the 3 halves. So now we want to get a common denominator to make our answer pretty. Now we have x squared here and we have x to the 3 halves. Our common denominator is going to be x squared. So we need to think about what should we multiply this function by, or this expression right here, this term, by in order to get x squared. Well, you remember when the bases are the same, you add the exponents, so we really wish we had four halves right here. So how about we multiply by one in the form of x to the one half over x to the one half. When you do that, when you add these exponents, you're going to get x to the 4 halves, which is just x squared. So then you're going to have your common denominator and you're going to be set there. So your derivative is negative 9 plus, that's 3x to the 1 half, all over your common denominator of x squared. Now that's one way to work the problem. The other way, the other method, is with the quotient rule. All right, let's see if we can remember the quotient rule. Well, the derivative with respect to x of u divided by v is equal to the derivative of the numerator, which is u prime times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator, which is v times v prime times the numerator, which is u, all over the denominator squared, which is v squared. Okay? All right, so that seems easy enough. Let me get a little work here. What was our u and our v in this case? 
Well, our U was, I forgot already, it was this numerator, 9 plus 2x minus 6 on the square root of x. So 9 9 plus 2x minus 6 on the square root of x. And our v was just our denominator, which here was x. All right, so u prime is the derivative of 9, which is 0, plus the derivative of 2x, which is 2, minus, all right, you might want to think of this as 6x to the 1 half power, right? The 1 half comes in front. 1 half times 6 is 3x to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. And here's an easy one. The derivative of v, of course, is just 1, because that's a linear function with a slope of 1. All right? Okay, so now applying our rule for the derivative, the derivative of, with respect to x, of u over v is equal to u prime, which is 2 minus 3x to the negative 1 half times v, which is just x, minus v prime, which is 1, times u, which is 9 plus 2x uh, minus <coughs> 6 on the square root of x. You can write that as x to the 1 half if you want. All over the denominator squared, which is x squared. Okay, and so then this cleans up to be Let's see, you're going to distribute this x through, right? So 2 times x is 2x minus 3 times, okay, if, when you multiply x times x to the negative 1 half, the bases are the same, so you add the exponents. This is understood to be an exponent of 1. 1 plus negative 1 half is just 1 half. So this is 3x to the positive 1 half. Now be careful here because you're, you're subtracting. So this is going to be minus 9 minus 2x plus 6 square roots of x or x to the 1 half, either way that you want to think of that. And really maybe I should think of this in both cases as x to the 1 half. Uh oh, sorry, my thing's going crazy on me. Let me think of this 6 as x to the 1 half, 6x to the 1 half. just to be consistent. Okay. All right, now look here. We can clean some stuff out, right? The 2x minus 2x cancels. Now you have negative 3x to the 1 half and positive 6x to the 1 half. So that makes three of them, 3x to the 1 half. And then you have the negative 9. So this is negative 9 plus 3x to the 1 half power all over x squared. Notice that is exactly the same answer that we got when we did it um, with the simplifying first and then doing the power rule. So either method works to get the answer for this problem.